Hi guys, I will show you how to calculate permanent action GK. So this is from chapter 3, part 1. So as shown in table 3.1, we know that to calculate GK for slab is combination of self-weight plus with the finishes and services plus ceiling. So unit for slab is in kilonewton. Per meter square. So meanwhile, for GK permanent action for beam is total of self weight plus slab or roof load plus brick wall. So unit for beam permanent action is in kilonewton per meter column. Permanent action for column GK is total of self weight plus load from beam and unit is in kilonewton. Last is for foundation. Permanent action GK for foundation is a total of self weight plus load from column and unit for foundation load is in kilonewton. So I will show you how to calculate self-weight for each of these elements. So the first one is the self-weight of rectangular beam. Okay, so for beam, there are two types of beam. First is the rectangular beam. Second is the flange beam. So first, we look at rectangular beam. So we need to calculate self-weight. So this equation, this example is only for the self-weight. Okay, suffered of beam, rectangular beam. Okay, let's say this is rectangular beam H and B. Okay, the width and height. So, suffered is B multiply with H multiply with unit weight of concrete. In this case, unit weight of concrete is 25 kilonewton per cubic meter and let's say h is 400 and b is 250 mm Okay, so GK suffered for beam is so change the unit from millimeter to meter, multiply with 0 0.4, multiply with 25 kilonewton per meter cube. So this is in meter, this is in meter, okay, we cancel this, so finally the answer for self-weight uh, for rectangular beam is 25, 2.5 kilonewton per meter. The idealization for the beam is in Uniform distribution load. Let's say this is your L and the load is 25 kilonewton per meter. And this is the cross section for the beam. Next, we go to the flange beam. Okay, flange beam. Suffered for flash beam is the total of width of the web multiply with the total length minus floor thickness. Okay, so this is floor thickness H minus HF. F here is the floor. 
W Web multiply with unit weight of concrete 25. Okay, so let's say your H here is 400. H F is 400. Twenty five mm. Okay, and unit weight of concrete is twenty five kilonewton per cubic meter. So finally, you will get your GK weight equal to B or BW or let's say your BW is same with this one 250 mm okay 0 0.25 multiply with 0 0.4 minus thickness of the floor 0 0.125 then multiply with the unit weight of concrete, 25. Okay, so the answer is 0 0.78 kilonewton per meter. So in, in UGL form, the beam, so 0 0.78 kilonewton per meter next we go to the self weight of column okay so this is the height of the column L the length H and also B so Formula for the self weight for column is B multiply with H multiply with the length multiply with unit weight of concrete. Okay, so let's say your L is 5000 mm millimeter, B is 200 and also H. 200 okay so we calculate self weight of column so you will get 0 0.2 multiply with 0 0.2 meter multiply with 5 meter multiply with 225 kilonewton per meter power of 3 Okay, so finally the answer is 11.875 unit is in kilonewton. Next, self weight of the foundation. So self weight of foundation, the parameter is the thickness of the foundation, TF. The width of the foundation and the length of the foundation. Let's say the width of the foundation 1500 millimeter, the length of the foundation 2000 millimeter. Meanwhile, for thickness 300 millimeter okay so your self weight is 1.5 meter multiply with 2.0 meter multiply with the thickness 0 0.3 meter multiply with the unit weight of concrete 25 kilonewton per meter cube so the answer is 22.5 kilonewton
unit is in kilonewton for foundation. So the last one is for brick wall. So brick wall, surface of the brick wall is the wall height multiply with the 2.5 kilonewton per meter square. Let's say the H is 4 meter. Then your brick wall is 4 meter multiply with 2.6 kilonewton over meter square and the answer is 10 kilonewton per meter. I hope everyone understand. Thank you.